up arrow and we point it at the remote and we're going to use the up arrow for on. Now when we press up on the D-pad we're going to turn on the TV. So if we go uh, left and we... After we've selected the TV we're going to be presented with three different options. We've got learn signals... <laughs> Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome to the Retro Future. Before we get into this video, uh, it's a little bit of a sad one for the Retro Future. This is the last time I'll be making a video in this studio. I know, it's sad, but I'm moving on to uh, the new house that I've been building. It's not completely finished yet, uh, but this is the final video in this studio. So massive chapter change in my life, um, but I'm really excited. So this video is about a Mission Impossible Game Boy game, which looks to the naked eye like a completely regular Game Boy game. And it is, it's a great game, a uh, really fun little sort of action shooter thing. Uh, put a little bit of footage of that on the screen. A uh, very nice little game, but we're not gonna be taking a look at the game in this video because as the title suggests this thing can do something in real life now if you actually have a look on the back of the box it says thanks to your IMF personal digital organizer and its infrared system which is obviously talking about the Game Boy Color you will be able to make contact and exchange secret data with other IMF agents Hmm, what could that possibly mean? One last thing before we get into the video, massive thank you to Game Maker for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Game Maker is the fastest and noob friendliest cross-platform 2D game development software. No matter if you already have some experience making games or you have absolutely no idea where to start but you'd like to give it a try, Game Maker is the software for you. Oh, and by the way, you don't even need to know how to code. You can find the list on their website of hundreds of awesome titles that have been made using Game Maker, including under Detail, as well as some articles highlighting examples of people using Game Maker to create successful games completely from scratch. Game Maker has been designed to make developing a game as easy as possible, so everything you need to take an idea from concept to a finished game is right here, with absolutely no barriers to entry. Their drag and drop system is so intuitive to use and makes learning how to make a game easier than ever. There's a growing community of thousands of other game developing enthusiasts that you can join on Game Maker's forum, Discord and Reddit page where you can not only talk about your favorite games, but also learn and help others who share the same interests as you. You can find all of this info and much more by following the link in the description, along with a 30-day free trial. Thanks again to Game Maker for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the video. So I managed to track down a boxed copy, which was not that easy, and they ended up paying quite a bit of money for this, but I really wanted to show you the box and the manual. So here's Tom Cruise. I'm not actually sure if that is Tom Cruise. It looks more like Arnold Schwarzenegger on the front there. Um, but anyway, let's open it up and see what the crack is inside. So there's our Game Boy game. Looks perfectly normal, nothing unique about it other than the sticker. And uh, we've also got the manual. So I wonder if we have anything in here about what this is going to do. Oh, here we go, the remote control. You can assign remote control codes to four control pad directions and the A and B buttons. And then it gives you the rundown on how to do that. You've also got various other things like a calculator and whatnot, uh, which is really handy, I suppose. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna show you uh, on my modded Game Boy Color that I recently made a video about. This thing's got a backlit screen. Uh, we'll be able to look at it in all of its glory. So this tiny little thing up here is an infrared sensor. It's an infrared transmitter and receiver, um, and it's allow it allows Game Boys to talk to each other. So it was used for Pokemon trading, um, maybe Tetris battles as well, I'm not completely sure, but all sorts of multiplayer things. But combined with this cartridge, and it can be used to control things in the real world, which is just absolutely fantastic. What a unique little thing to shove in there. So this game was released in 1999, according to this menu screen and the box, 1999. So it's one year after the Game Boy Color came out. So at this point, it was well established. Uh, so we've got Play Game, and we've also got the Agent Organizer. And obviously the one that we're interested in is the Agent Organizer. So in here, we have secret files, which are addresses, messages, notebook. That's quite cool, it's like a little organizer. Oh my goodness, you can use the notebook and print things with it. Look at that, the printer is switched off or not connected. You can plug this into the Game Boy printer and print off your notebook. And that's absolutely incredible. Uh, so we've also got the calculator as well, which of course is gonna just do a job as a calculator. We've got receive transmission, and we've got exit, and we've also got reset database. And then the one that we actually care about the most 
is the remote control. So when you go into this, uh, you're gonna be greeted with four different options. You've got a little television, uh, what looks like a VCR, uh, an aerial or a satellite dish, uh, and then we've also got some sort of a hi-fi system. And the one that I'm gonna be showing you is the TV. So once you've selected the device you'd like to control, you have three different options on the screen. You've got learn signals, send signals, and exit. So we're obviously gonna choose learn signals. There's a little thing down the side blinking, and when we press that, it's gonna stop. And now, when we press the different buttons, it's gonna blink in the corner there, kind of like a test cartridge, which is really cool. And then it's gonna show which one you're selecting. So if we press the up arrow and we point it at the remote, and we're gonna use the up arrow for on. Now when we press up on the D-pad, we're gonna turn on the TV. So if we go uh, left, and we do the left one, and then we go right, and we do the right one, and then I think B will have that as volume up, just for the sake of it, and then A will have that as select. So there we go, that is now coded, and when we press start and select together, and we go to send signals, this thing is now a television remote. So let's give it a try. Okay, so here we are on my floor. Uh, I don't have a TV unit anymore because I'm moving house. Everything's in boxes. There's boxes all over the place. I'm incredibly uncomfortable. Let's try this thing out. Here we go. So up. We're off to a good start. Oh, there we go. It's on. <laughs> Hang on. That's not a good scientific test. Let me just show you. The remote is here, by the way. Let's just lean that up against there so that people can believe us, all the conspiracy theorists. There we go, that is working. It's a little bit temperamental, but think about what we're doing right now. Let's try that again, come on. On, there we go, perfect. Okay, so if we try the right and left buttons, there we go, that's all gonna work perfectly well. So let's navigate around my YouTube channel on this Game Boy, which is just absolutely absurd. Okay, it's not working, oh, there we go. Hopefully you can see that there. How ridiculous is this? And if we go down, there's my mug of a face on my second channel. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that's absolutely insane, isn't it? We're literally controlling. Here's the here's the actual remote. We're controlling the TV with a Game Boy on my YouTube channel about Game Boys. This is some crazy meta stuff right now. Oh yeah, I forgot the up arrow is off. We don't want to press that. That's there we go. You have to point it down the sensor. And we try the the volume. There we go. That's increasing. And then last thing to try is let's just use this one the A button, which selects it. Boys, the rest will be replaced. What? This is insane. The box that Retro Money sent me. Pause and play. Shows. Absolutely insane. Turn it off. Button color I could possibly need. Wild. So there we go. That is going to wrap it up for this video. I know it's a little short one, uh, but I really wanted to somehow show you this thing because I think it's just amazing that that actually exists. Uh, massive thank you to Game Maker for sponsoring this video, and uh, I really hope you've all enjoyed. It's a uh, it's a pretty monumental day for me. Um, I'm incredibly stressed, but I'm trying to figure everything out. Um, we'll sort it out, and I'll see you soon in the next episode of the Retro Future. Thank you very much. Goodbye.